Hi Pisces, thank you for being here with me. We're starting off this reading with fire and water. Today it is um, July 24th, 2022. But whenever you're watching, this is when, when these messages are meant to get to you. So let's find out what messages spirits have for you. I'm just going to shuffle the cards three times. Shuffle. Okay, Pisces, let's see what what spirit has her for you today. Okay, so we're starting off here with the Ten of Swords. Oops, I gotta move over this way. Ten of Swords. Something coming to an end. Something's completely over. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Three of Wands. It looks like you're moving on here, Pisces, from um, an ending to something in your life, which we're going to go back and clarify and find out what's going on. But something's over here. I'm seeing you actually waiting for some, for the new to come in now. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Four of Coins in the center of your reading. Some of you may be feeling like you need to hold on to your money, being careful with money. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ten of Wands. Okay, sorry you guys, I don't want to... Make sure you can see the cards. So my other phone broke, and so I'm not sure how this lines up. That was Elvis trying to come in here, if you guys can hear him. Okay. And then we have the Five of Coins. And Sagittarius Energy with Temperance. Spirits, why is the Ten of Swords here? I'm going to grab a new deck. Since you're starting off here with the Ten of Swords. It looks like something had to end in your life, Pisces, for, for something new to come in. I feel like their destiny is at play here. Something happened for a reason. Okay, just two more shuffles. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, so we have the Four of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so they're, with this painful ending that's lingering lingering on here in your energy 
Ten Swords. It's it's coming to an end, Pisces. I feel like um, you invested a lot with someone. You gave a lot in a connection with someone. And um, there was a lesson to be learned here. It was something that happened for a reason. And I'm seeing you leaving this connection behind. And um, looking at you know everything that you did in the past because that's what this is it's a reflection on the past all of the seeds that you planted that um it happened for a reason so you're you're right where you're supposed to be right now everything that has happened in the past has led you to where you are right now and it it's for a reason that you that you're here and these things happen to you for a reason. Why is the hermit here? Look at that. The hermit is clarified by the hermit. This is, um, some of you are light workers. You're holding this lamp to guide the way for others. Um, that's very clear. The hermit being cleared by the hermit. You're holding the lamp here that is going to guide the way for others, the direction. Why is the hermit here? The four of swords. The spirit is telling you that you need to take a rest. You need to meditate. Don't work too hard right now while you're in hermit mode. There's a need to make sure you get your rest and meditate. And we have the Queen of Swords. You're very much in your mind. You know what you want, Pisces. Male or female, the Queen of Swords is here and she's someone very logical, very honest. And I feel like you're very clear on what you want right now, Pisces. And I'm seeing this ship showing up here for you in the distance you're standing here waiting for something to arrive why is the three of wands here you've successfully exited out of that ten of swords i'm seeing this as being like a gateway with the two wands on both sides and you're exactly where you're supposed to be right now in your life. You could have been dealing with a Taurus or another Pisces. You're showing up here on the bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. And um, it what's happened here i'm seeing you cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you pisces you've been through the dark night of the soul and you're the way is lit and clear for you now but um the reason you're standing here with your back turned and waiting for a new ship to come in now is because i'm seeing someone here that is showing up as a twin flame soul connection with the four of wands and the two of cups that you were energetically, you were holding on to this connection too tightly. And now the three of wands is here telling me that you're turning your back on this now, looking out into the future because you were um, going back and forth, letting it go uh, and then this person would come back up in your mind and it would bother you again, but I'm seeing, you know, this instability is leaving your life. You have your eye on something else. This is what you're waiting for. You could be opening up your own business. Um, something materialistic showing up here. I really feel like this is your ship. Why is the king of coins is here? See, this is what you've been waiting for, this ace of wands. This is new, exciting news coming in. 
huge news. I'm seeing a lot of financial gain here. And like I said, some of you have your own business that you're working on with the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the King of Coins? And we have the King of Swords. So we have the King and the Queen of Swords. I got two Kings here. It's like the king of pentacles being clarified by the king of pentacles also you've made up your mind you've made a decision and um you don't have your emotions holding you back into a place from the past you're it's like you know exactly where you want to go now pisces it's something that you're very passionate about why is the King of Swords here? Clarify the King of Swords. The Magician, see exactly what you're manifesting. There's a huge manifestation taking place here. And you have all the tools that you need to accomplish what you want to accomplish. See, you're completely releasing the lessons of the past they're there for a reason they happened for a reason that's aries energy with the fool this four of pentacles this is you like this is holding on to something too too tightly and this is where you, and it's coming from past and the pain but with the fool showing up like i told you you're letting it go and you have your eye on something else now. You could be trying to learn, learn something. The Page of Swords is a student. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So you're going from an energy here, we're in steps from a student of something that you're trying to learn into taking action these knights are action takers something that you're taking a leap of faith on um you're very clear on this on what you want and you're in this knight of this king of wands actually we have three kings here so this is like a very strong energy of you and a lot of determination of what you want wow strength you've been through a lot in your past pisces with strength showing up here leo energy and this pain from the past the reason you have strength coming up here is because it's it's brought you to a place where you're in this nine of pentacles energy so you are some of you are like finding complete happiness within yourself you're not looking outward for for anyone you're finding it all within yourself and this is a lot of strength a lot of courage i feel like um, you're not really looking for love right now because I'm seeing your, your focus is more on taking action on your work. However, the king and the queen of wands is showing up now. So there is someone here coming into your energy, Pisces. And, um, this person is showing up as an emperor whether this is male or female. And we also have the emperor and the empress. So this energy that's coming in right now is someone that is arriving just in time. Like um, the Knight of Pentacles is here. There were um, things and lessons and karma that you had to go through in the past but there is a true soulmate. And actually, I feel like this, this person right here is, is probably a twin flame coming towards you here because 
I'm going to take that back of a past person being a twin flame. It's a new person. It's a very strong connection. This energy is coming towards you right now. And then we have the Ten of Wands. This is your perfect match. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Clarified by the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is um, you dropping a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of karma from the past off of your back and setting yourself free. It's an ending. And it's an ending to a feeling of lack, a feeling of being ghosted, maybe lack of money was in the past. But this is all falling off of you right now. Ten of Wands. Judgment. You're going through an awakening. These people are coming out of coffins. You're going through an awakening and life is never going to be the same again. There's this freedom and peace now that, you, that I see you find ending here in temperance. Why is the five of coins here? Five of swords. Yeah, so um, someone here has dealt with like a narcissistic energy in the past or more than one of them very cold people and I'm telling you it happened for a reason it happened because of this because there's um, this great gift or opportunity that's going to come out of this this suffering from the past why is the ace of pentacles here this is something huge coming into your life that's going to take away a lot of worry. You may be, you know, staying up late at night thinking about this manifestation, this brand new Ace of Pentacles here, this brand new beginning, but I see you here fighting for it and it's yours. See, there could be competition why is temperance here? But this angel of temperance is pouring these two cups together to create the ace of cups, which is huge blessings. Yeah, look at this, the ten of pentacles. That's what's coming in for you, Pisces. This is um, blessings from the universe. And on the bottom of the deck, we have temperance once again telling you that your angels, your guides are looking out for you and all of the pain that you went through in the past where you feel like um, you did it for nothing, it was wasted time, it was not wasted time, it happened for a reason and it's now time for you to relax and enjoy your Ten of Pentacles. This is where you don't want for anything and a feeling of completion and happiness and peace in your life. And it's showing up right now in your energy. There's also, um, there's a marriage here with a person that is your, your person that you are supposed to meet in this lifetime is showing up in your energy right now. I'm feeling like something is in divine timing happening here. Temperance is showing up twice. Okay, what does Pisces need to know? Okay, I'm just going to shuffle one time. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? A fiery climax approaches, new moon in Aries. Yeah, something's coming in here. Expect powerful change. 
Things are changing, Pisces. Powerful changes. A time for healing. So, um, expect powerful change and expect something, some type of great, great news to come in. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Okay, so there could be something that you've been procrastinating on that you haven't started and you want to start. Now is the time to start. There's no more waiting. This is divine timing right now, Pisces. Okay, thank you for being here with me. Um, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. And I love you. And I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.